going to get us underway in one of the brightest shirts you might see all week. I apologise if anyone's feeling the need to put sunglasses on to watch this one. Play. Either way though, Fidasco is serving first and we are underway in this second round clash. Well, it's not the most convincing start from Vadasco. It is his first match of the week, though, on this surface, so we will forgive him. He's only played this tournament once, way back in 2004, and of course it was held at Costa do Suipe. Better from Vadasco, giving his young opponent the run around on that one. Yeah, 2012, the first year that this tournament has been held in Sao Paulo on this e indoor clay arena. We're indoors because the weather in Sao Paulo can be a little bit changeable at this time of the year. Plenty of thunderstorms and cloud bursts. the ballooned forehand. Javier Marti has quite an impressive one-hander on the backhand side that was definitely making inroads into Vadasco's defences. This could be very interesting after all. <coughs> Vadasco holds his opening service game. But I'm sure he's intrigued by this matchup. Sometimes difficult for the elder statesman. Marty will know a lot more about Vadasco's tactics and style of play than Vadasco will know about his, which does put the youngster at something of an advantage. Let's see what the 20-year-old has to offer on serve. And every bit as powerful as the backhand. It's an impressive start. No signs of nerves. Playing someone who might have been a bit of an idol.
Well, Marty wasting no time, informing the umpire that he wants him to go down and have a look at that mark. Calls it wide. Kinsey White. Next, Primer Service. Bit of an all or nothing style of play in this game so far. Marty really going for that second serve. The youngster certainly brave. There ain't big one. And bravery might not be rewarded. Modesco has an immediate break point here, right at the start of this opening set. Inexperienced there. Marty staring too hard, hoping it was going to go out. Didn't prep himself for the shot. Gets fortunate. Modesco overcooks the backhand. There's an opportunity though. Certainly an interesting opening to this match. Marty definitely has weapons of that, there's no doubt. But already we have seen a couple of moments of immaturity, shall we say, which you'd expect from someone with so little experience at this level. And if he keeps hitting the ball this cleanly, he could be a real handful out here for Vadasco. Very interesting times indeed. It is Badesco serving now at one game all. of his forehand. Vidas goes for a while. Ranked right up there as one of the best forehands in the world. Such a powerful weapon.
those games on. Badasco holds comfortably. <laughs> Again, the forehand proving too good. So he sits down with a 2-1 lead, but with certainly with food for thought, he's learned a little bit about his opponent. He's going to learn a lot more before this match is out. This is just the second of four live matches we are bringing you today. Later on this evening, Leonardo Maya of Argentina takes on Jeremy Shardy of France. Before Davinel Bandian takes on Gilles Simon, the number two seed. We're looking to finalise those quarter-final lineups. We can tell you at the top of the draw, Nicolas Almagro will be taking on Carlos Berloc in one of the quarter-finals. Winner of this one will play Albert Ramos. The number eight seed. So, definitely going to be an all-Spanish quarter-final. But will Ramos be playing a younger or an older opponent? A better start from Marty. Comfortable game then for Marty. The serve certainly not quite as potent as the forehand or the backhand, but does have a decent kick serve as we saw on that previous point.
Marty does need to cut out the unforced errors. It really is all or nothing from the youngster at the moment. Vadesco doesn't seem particularly happy on court at the moment. He's not playing too badly. Give you an indication of the gap in experience. This is Marty's seventh match at World Tour level. I'm not going to embarrass Vadesco by saying exactly how many matches he's played at this level, but let's just say quite a lot more. It is the experienced Vadesco who has a 3 2 lead. We are on serve in the opening set. Vadasco didn't take part in the Davis Cup tie last weekend, hasn't played since Australia. It's a few weeks back now. So natural if he's a little bit rusty. But five games in. Hopefully some of that rustiness will have worn off. He's certainly not firing on all cylinders just yet. That might have something to do. With his opponent, it is Javier Marti serving at 2 3. It's too good from Vadasco. You can't give him that much time on the forehand side and expect to stay in the point. Something Marty might have to be careful with as this match wears on. from the youngster. Inside out forehand does the trick for Marty, holds to last. 20 minutes played then, three games each. Very hard to call this one. <coughs> I 
Well, Marty doesn't seem phased at the moment, trying to reach his first ever World Tour quarter-final. Too much tactical awareness, Marty. Especially in a tight point. Does tend to get impatient, but that's something that does come with experience. Thank you, sir. Another overcooked backhand from the youngster. Vadesco holds to love. He sits down with a 4 3 lead. <laughs> Walks to his chair. Not looking particularly animated. Looking a little bit flat, Vadesco. I'm sure if he were to get the first set under his belt, that demeanour might change pretty quick. Plenty of fans starting to drift in now, which is nice to see. Approaching 6 p.m. local time, perhaps coming to the end of the working day for most people so they can come and enjoy a spot of tennis. A popular tournament this, it's Brazil's premier ATP tournament. Tournament director needs to be congratulated. He's amassed a strong field. Definitely. Plenty of real clay court specialists. And a few youngsters as well. This youngster, well, he's on serve. He's doing well. He has some new tennis balls. What can he do with those? Vadesco just slightly slipping there, which was the cause of that slightly missed time forehand. Marty has dropped just three points on serve. Been a strong start to the match from the 20 year old.
Tedesco does like to put a fair amount of spin on the ball. Bounces up really high. And Marty is dealing with it well. But just couldn't quite do enough with that one. Very well deserved round of applause. I'm not well, sure Vidasco is too impressed. It was very, very impressive from the youngster dealing with the net cord in fine style. Luck not favouring Vadasco on that one. Four games all then. This first set rumbles on. Problems for Vadasco at 15.30. Well, Marty doing a bit of a Marion Bartoli there, practicing his strokes. Doesn't do him any good. He is a little bit like Bartoli. Lots of jumping up and down, lots of excess energy. <laughs> lots of power. Uh, a little bit on the unpredictable side. Maybe we've finally found a male equivalent. We thought she was a one-off. Speaking of Bartley, she's safely through in Doha. Six three six three earlier on to book her place in the quarterfinals. Oh, turning our attention back to Marty. Had a real chance there, couldn't take it. Can Vadasco close out the game? Oh dear! Oh, I don't 
think I want to see that one again. Might have even been heading wide. Oh dear, we are going to see a replay. Avert your eyes, tennis purists, because you're not going to like that one. Bad technique on the volley from Vadasco. Barely makes it into the tram lines. Now, can he put that behind him? This is the important thing. Can he immediately atone for that error? He can. That's good from Vadasco, that's the experience talking. He said it in the Almagro match, it's not about the error, it's about how you respond to that error. Vadasco has responded in fine style. That is the Vadasco of old. He holds serve, he has a 5-4 lead and we're going to get our first <laughs> real look at Margie's temperament because very soon he will have to serve to stay in the first set. We really are talking about a huge golf and experience out here. This is Marty's seventh match at World Tour level, Vadasco has been on the tour 11 years, has been to the semi-finals of the Grand Slam, has been to the quarter-finals twice in the US, just a few weeks ago reached the semi-finals of a World Tour event in Auckland, and has five titles to his name, has also been to a Masters 1000 final, that was in Monte Carlo in 2010. We are talking about a vastly experienced, very consistent, talented player. Javier Marti has certainly got his work cut out. The youngster isn't daunted. He's up and out of his chair first. He's ready and raring to go. He's serving at 4-5 to stay in the opening set. Cap is backwards. Vadasco means business. Certainly a bit of a strut to his walk. Wonder if he fancies his chances here. Oh no, the cap is facing forwards again. Obviously the backwards cap didn't bring Vadasco any luck. Oh, this could be interesting. It was called out, Vadasco immediately went to have a look. It is a second serve. Oh, what a shot from Vadasco. You could sense it coming. He was just manoeuvring Marty. Almost toying with him in this point. And he didn't need a second invitation on the forehand side. What? 
Overcook that one though. And at 4 5 30 all, we are facing a bit of a crunch point here for the youngster. Well, this point might really show us what he's made of. And if he has a future at the top of the game, you need to be able to play the pressure points well. You need to find the first serves when it really matters. And it matters right now. to run this one down. He got to game point, but he couldn't convert. Well, he's held his nerve once. Can he do it again on juice? It's a tight game, this. And he can't find the first serve when it really matters. Is he still going to go big and brave on the second? Didn't put enough on the second serve, too conservative. Nadasco came up with a big return. And that has brought a set point for the number three seed. Javier Martin played very well in that opener, but he has dropped it. It's Vidasco who takes set number one. Six games to four. One thing's for certain, Martin can certainly play this game. You imagine that ranking is going to rise as 2012 rumbles on. Has, after all, already taken a set of show Wilfred Songa in his career a couple of months ago in Valencia. Going to have to work hard though. He wants to take a set off Fernando Vidasco, the 28-year-old just looking slightly more solid, slightly more consistent. And he is a set to the good. over in Rotterdam in the men's 500 event taking place this week. Juan Martin Del Potro is set to the good against Carol Beck of Slovakia. Haven't really been any upsets over in Holland. Richard Gasquet, Thomas Burdick both safely through along with Andreas Seppi. 
The only other men's event this week is in San Jose. And so far, Steve Dussis has knocked out number four seed, Radek Stepanek, in two sets. It's the only result to bring you from San Jose. Ten. Turning our attentions back to Sao Paulo. <laughs> There's work to do for Javier Marti if he wants to book his first ever World Tour Finals, World Tour Finals, World Tour 250 even, quarter final appearance. He'd love to reach the World Tour Finals, but that might have to wait a few years. And a couple of hundred rankings. Here we go then for the start of the second set. Once again, it will be Vidasco to get us underway, serving first. Opening is Vadasco going to crank up the gears here to try and win through in convincing style. Good stuff from Vadasco. It was the forehand on the first point. It was the backhand that time that was just too accurate for Marty. Marty was favourite from that point, but what precision on the lob. Didn't even bother to put top spin on it. Just trusted his instincts. Well, that's broken Vadasco's concentration after such a strong start. from Marty, flattening out the backhand, picking up Ranger tips from Vadasco, and the youngster has a break point. It's his first break point of the match. It'll be interesting to see how he plays now. Well, Vadasco made such a strong start. His attention has just gone AWOL, and he might pay the price here. by Vadasco taking a little bit of pace off the ball 
And it did force the error from Marty. It's experience talking on that point. We go to Juice on the Vidasco served. Advantage, Vadasco. Looking for a third game in a row. Vadasco of old, that's the Vadasco we know Very and love. What a turn up in pace. <laughs> so Vadasco gets his opening game on the board. He's certainly pumped up now. We said he looked a little bit flat in the opening set, not anymore. Coming through a really stern encounter on serve. Coming through with flying colours. I wonder what that will have done to Marty's confidence. We'll have to wait and see. It is the 20 year old to serve now at Love One in the second set. Oh, didn't miss so much. That was a chance. Marty does seem to be trying to serve to Vadasco's backhand on both the ad and the juice court. He's having mixed success with it at the moment. Oh, this could be interesting. The umpire's called it out in the middle of the rally. Vadasco's immediately circled a mark. Oh yes, it was wide. Great call by the umpire. It was the furthest line from him. 30 all then. That was an opportunity. 
for Vidasco. He knows it. Has come through. A tough service game, much as Vadasco did, to level things up in this second set at a game apiece. <laughs> you have a feeling that the experience of Vadasco might prove too good, but you never know. If you were following our coverage yesterday, we witnessed some very strange goings on. Something about this court is bringing out the best and the worst in some of the players. <coughs> Nothing seems to be predictable in Brazil this week. We've already seen now Magro up a set and absolutely cruising, ending up being taken to a decider. So you wouldn't put it past Marty here, especially if Fidasco keeps gifting him free points. <laughs> Problems now. Back to back unforced errors and Marty has another foothold. In a Vadasco service game at Love 30. break point in the first set. He's already got at least four in set number two. He's had one of them, couldn't take it. What about these three? Nope, can't take the first, but he might as well swing on that one with two more opportunities still to come. see the day out. Vadasco just throws in a really loose service game. Complete lapse of concentration. It's a bit of a gift to his opponent. Marty won't mind though. The youngster has a 2-1 lead in the second set. Well, 
Well, Marty hasn't been in ahead, ahead in the match so far. Let's see how he reacts when he's in front. He's serving now to extend his advantage. Well, this match certainly hasn't been short of winners. Unfortunately, we've had more than our fair share of errors as well. That one, though, just clipping the outside of the line. There's Dace for the youngster. In this second set. from Vadasco. Much better weight of shot causing Marty difficulties. Marty just five foot nine doesn't have the biggest reach in the world. Even though the one handed backhand does make it slightly easier, but not on that point. from Vitasco. Uh, the crowd still liking the efforts of Marty. Giving Vitasco the run around on that point. much the youngster could do Danger about that return one. not enough on the second serve again and paid the price it's a break back point for Fernando Vadasco I'm not sure who the Roger Federer fan in the crowd is supporting it's Marty who needs the crowd at the moment And it's working for Marty at the moment. Hasn't made any mistakes under the overhead Ziva.
make another return from Vadesco. He won. He really, really can't serve into Vadesco's forehand side unless you are fiercely accurate, and Marty was not. I wonder if he'll go back to the backhand side. It's more predictable, but slightly safer. Right on the line. Difficult shot for Marty, almost on the half volley. Vidasco has a second break point to level things up. for a double fault from the youngster. A little bit of inexperience there. Vadesco has broken straight back. We are level in set number two. It is two games all. Just the pressure getting to Marty there. It's a shame he played well on the first break point. Just couldn't find the second serve to get himself out of trouble. So, can Vadesco edge out in front? Next. Yo no le he oído la máquina, lo bajo. wide a slight pause I'm not sure if the umpire came down while we were looking at that replay Seven. oh clever by Vadasco such powerful hitting really getting those balls within a few inches of the baseline it's forcing Marty further and further back look where he was on the course at that point there's no chance from there Vadasco, who's struggling for consistency at the moment. Now right off the bottom of the racket. Happens. not happy. Vadasco getting on with things. He's not interested in looking at any marks. 30 all.
to question exactly what Vidasco is doing out there at the moment. He would have thought winning that first set would give him an excuse to really kick on and instead he's come up with a whole barrage of unforced errors. He's already given up his serve once. He might be about to do it a second time. It's break point, Marty. of the rankings or near about. Dasko will be looking to try and get his ranking back up into the world's top 20 where he probably does deserve to be. He is a class act after all. <coughs> but he cannot stop the unforced errors not sure who he's talking to, probably himself. Well, if Marty does break serve, Vidasco will only have himself to blame. It's break point. Back to back unforced errors. It's a really poor game from someone who should know better. Javier Marti is a break up once again. He has a 3-2 lead in the second set. Well, Marty was a break to the good, was immediately broken back. Oh. Well, he's looking slightly more composed the second time around. 30 love. Vidasco's completely lost his rhythm out there. Going to be in danger of throwing this second set away soon. He doesn't rediscover his form and rediscover it fast.
better from Badasco. Sometimes you just need one or two emphatic points to play yourself back into form. I wonder if that'll have done the trick for the 28-year-old from Madrid. It's a good serve from Badasco right into the body of his opponent. Well, his unforced error count is already way higher in the second set than in the entirety of the first. Just can't seem to string a few points together at the moment for Dasco. Just get the feeling that we might be heading for a decider. Vadasco really in danger of throwing away this game and this set. Better serve. Needs another one of those. Oh, oh only just. Slightly fortunate there, Vadasco, but he does stay in touch in this second set. It is Javier Marti, though, up a break with a 4 3 lead. Well, it, that was an important game for Fidasco to win. Didn't want to give Marty any breathing room. He can just keep it tight. You never know, the youngster might tighten up. All the pressure points when he comes to serve out for it, if we get that far. Once again, Marty out of his chair first, ready and raring to go. I wonder if that's a good tactic. I wonder if that's just giving him too much time at the back of the court to dwell on the position he is in. We'll have to wait and see. It is Marty serving. 4-3 up in the second set. Oh. 
15.30 Can Vadasco try and hit back against the odds Just put a little bit more pressure on Marty's shoulders try and see if he'll crack Net Net. Primer servicio. Again, Annette just not favouring Vadasco tonight. Lady Luck smiling down on Javier Marti. Vadasco ahead in the point, probably the favourite to win it before that unlucky net cord. regained his composure after that display of frustration. There's another unforced error to add to the growing pile. Javier Marti has a game point. get it in. He really does trouble Javier Marti. We go to Juice. sure what went on on that point. Both players seem to receive an unlucky bounce. The ball's dying on them. It was Vadasco who dealt with it slightly better and all of a sudden he has a break back point. Vadasco can smile, just nothing going his way. We go back to Juice.
Tedesco ahead on, in the point. Just had to hit the ball into the court, had the whole court to aim for, and went for a drop shot and missed it. You really couldn't write the script to this one. I think anyone watching is finding out why Vadasco's ranking has dropped in the last year or so. Unfortunately, he is prone to throwing in matches like this one. And against higher ranked opponents, you can't afford to do that. Marty again unhappy with the bounce, but it's about time something favoured Vadasco. like it. Just frustration bubbling over for Vadasco. <coughs> oh dear. Off the frame. Not sure what he's complaining about. Well, Marty can keep his concentration. Shouldn't have too many problems holding out here as Vadesco just can't stop the unforced errors. and extends his advantage. The youngster has a 5-3 lead. He's just a game away from forcing a decider. Vadasco has had opportunities in each of Marty's previous two service games to come back into this one. So five at break points. Hasn't taken them. Serving now to stay in the second set. And it seems his concentration has been slightly disrupted. He's opened up with a double. It's not the best timing when you're serving to stay in the set. It's an important game, this. Better from Vadasco, not dwelling on the double. Yeah. 
The Nesco holds, he's going to force Marty to serve out for it. Given that Marty has struggled in each of his previous two service games. His set, not a done deal just yet. Marty leads it though, by five games to four. Oh dear, not the best opening when you're serving for the set. Well, it's about time Marty tried to readdress this unforced um, error account. Spadasco's way outstripping him at the moment. <laughs> Better from Spadasco. Well, where's this form been the previous few games? Everything that was missing the line is now clipping. Love 30. Proving too much. Three break back points for Fernando Vadasco. Surely even he can't squander all three of them. A lot will now depend on whether Marty can find a first serve. As he's not playing very well when the first serve doesn't go in. It's break back point for Vadasco. Topsy-turvy could this second set be? Nadasco nearly two breaks down. All of a sudden, it's 5-all. Well, he was serving for the set. He got broken to love. How will that affect Marty's confidence? We're about to find out. It's Vadasco serving to move ahead for the first time in this second set. And it's a good start. 
Looks good when the first serve goes in for Dasco. Oh, how much of this sport is played in the head? I think you only have to have watched this second set to know the answer to that one. Tedesco with time to run round for the forehand side and the forehand too much for Marty to handle. Just getting his body too close to the ball, Marty there. Oh, both players want to look at this one. Well, that sporting from Marty immediately acknowledges that the ace was in. Well, we've had a complete about turn in the space of a couple of minutes. Marty was serving for the set. All of a sudden, he's going to be serving to stay in the match. Well, it was serving to stay in the set that did for him in the opener. He couldn't handle the pressure. Well, now that pressure is twofold. He's serving to stay in the match after an hour and 35 minutes on court. It's been tight, it's been interesting. Is it going the distance? We will have to wait and see. Oh dear. Zero, Marty struggling to deal with the pressure at the moment, serving to stay in the match. He's already loved 15 down. We're about to see what the youngster's made of. That net is Easy not one. his friend. It's another point he should have won. I think he would like to roll up this Sao Paulo net and put it on a big bonfire. Not a single net cord has actually gone his way tonight. Could that one prove costly though? the line about deceiving Tedasco again a point he was on top in needs to try and keep this t game t tight for Dasco he wants to keep the pressure on his opponent oh. 30 
they can't find the return. Marty has found a few first serves when it's really mattered. Looks like we might be heading to a tie break. Second set tie break after all. Dasso should have been love 40 up in that game. Not to be. So, heading to a tie break. Will this favour the experience of Vadasco? Or can Marty put his previous troubles behind him and take us to a decider after all? It's all about who gets the strong start. And builds the momentum. It's Vadasco serving first. Next. Second service. better to stop arguing with the umpire, start concentrating on his tennis. The first mini break goes to Marty. Oh! He put the youngster returns the favour. Those mini breaks easily won and easily lost at the start of a tie break. You can't always read too much into them as Marty just demonstrated. Another point, the Dasco probably Marty. should have won. Well, we haven't seen any clean winners for a while. Most of the points in the last 10 minutes or so have been decided on errors. Which is a real shame, because these two are better than that. We're on serve in the tie break. go. That's a winner and a lovely one to boot. Starting to live with him in the rallies now, which is going to give the 20 year old more and more confidence that he can compete at this level. has a 4-2 lead. Is that going to be a significant 4-2 lead? We'll have to wait and see. Sentarse rapidamente, por favor. O jogo continua. Fechamos os acessos, por favor.
Marty serving then at 4-2. It is a scoreboard pressure for Javier Marti. Badly timed error from Fernando Vidasco. Javier Marti has four set points. Oh! It's long from Vidasco. It was a loose tie break from the number three seed. We're going the distance once again in Sao Paulo. Javier Marti has defied the odds. He's taken the second set by seven games to six. Leonardo Meyer, Jeremy Shardy are going to have to wait a little bit longer to take to the court. They were due on at nine. They're going to be on a little bit later than that. That's nine o'clock UK time, seven o'clock local time. As this one has gone the distance, much as the previous match did. The seeded players finding that life is rather tough in Sao Paulo. And not everyone respects that seeding. Trainer is on. No. Tiempo, Looks like it's Vidasco's knee. Como el medical. Was strapped. <laughs> Señor, Señor. The problem in Australia in that first set of feet to Tomic. Always wear the strapping under the knee. Let's hope he can continue as this one is really set up quite nicely. If we do get any information on this injury, we will of course let you know. Might be a slightly tactical one, you never know. 
Yeah, you know to right. have a little rest. Show off his physique to the crowd. Not too many wolf whistles yet, though. Wonder if that will concern him. Possibly has bigger things to worry about right now. Doctors also on. You always have to have a doctor on if you're going to administer any pills. Probably anti-inflammatories. Adasco then, definitely, in a little bit of pain out on this centre court. Well, that was a slightly delayed change of ends. If you're wondering why, Fernando Vidasco had a rather lengthy injury treatment to his knee. Set final. A servicio, Martin. Let's hope he is fit and ready and raring to continue because we are about to start a fascinating third set. It's Marty serving first. get whistles from this Brazilian crowd whenever the umpire comes down to check a mark. It is a reasonably common thing in clay court tennis. You'd expect them to know. Since clay is the predominant surface in South America, as it is in much of Southern Europe.
Comfortable service hold for Marty. First up in the third set. He's obviously rediscovered his serving form that did desert him towards the end of that second set. Not that it made any difference. Lots of errors from Vidasco helping out the youngster. Well, once again, Marty has taken a set off a top player, took a set off Songa in October. And he's now taken a set off of his countryman Vadasco. Can he go one better and win the match? This one seems quite evenly balanced at the moment. Might be a case of who can cut out the unforced errors, which unfortunately have plagued this contest somewhat. The double from Vadasco. Looks like he wants his knee strap back on. Interesting that the trainer chose to leave it off and Vadasco is putting it straight back on. Paid the price. Better from Vidasco, doesn't make the same mistake twice.
So Vidasco also opens up with a service hold. The lengthy injury treatment doesn't seem to have done him too much harm. Be interesting to have a look and see if his movement does deteriorate at all. Marty serving now at 1 all. Oh, just wide. Not much in it. Well watched by Vidasco. Early opportunity for Vadasco on the Marti serve. Just taken really wide of court by Vadasco's backhand. Vadasco not looking in good shape though, physically. the course he's going to want to close this bed set out as quickly as possible not looking likely at the moment Marty proving tough to put away quite literally
again, Maddie. Once again, Marty brings up to the challenge. Holds serve, takes a 2-1 lead into this change of ends. Hasn't had too many comfortable service holds though recently, Marty. So that one will be very welcome. And he should take confidence from the way he played on the break point. Found the big first serve when he really needed it. Oh, someone in the crowd seems to also need an injury timeout. Sean sure Vadasco can recommend a good trainer. The 28 year old though will be coming from behind in this third set. He trails. 1-2. He'll be serving very shortly to level things up. Campbell. Good start for Vidasco. Here's a goal from Vidasco, but he does the trick. Made it look easy. He should be all over his opponent. Instead, it's the other way around. Vadesco holds to love. Far too comfortably for someone who can barely move. Or at least that's how it appeared on that point. Now, will Marty try and test out his opponent with some drop shots, get him on the run, really test out that knee? It would be the sensible thing to do. Just drifts wide. 
a little bit too much spin on that one. So another slightly closer game than Marty holds, which is the important thing as the court is swept again. 3 2, youngster leads in this third set. Well, serving first proves to be an advantage as you normally expect. and see. Don't forget we still have two more matches to bring you. Leonardo Mayer is taking on Jeremy Shardy and later on number two seed Gilles Simon is taking on David Naubandian. Those four in for a bit of a wait. Day session running over into the evening one. Tempo. Again, Marty's out of his chair first. Looking the more eager. Vadasco, the experienced old timer. Making sure. He utilizes every second of that break. It is a Vadasco to serve at 2 3 in the third set.
Double fault from Vadasco, his second in this set. He's loved 30 down. Half a chance here for Marty. Javier Marti has three break points. Oh dear. Nadasco's thrown the game away much as he did in the second set. It's Marti who has the opportunity here. He has a 4-2 lead. He's just a couple of games away from his first ever quarter final. Perfect opening for Marty. You might expect someone with his experience level to tighten up, but it doesn't look likely. Oh! Dasco's movement definitely compromised in this third set. You saw it on that point. That knee really bothering him. It might be slightly psychological. Might be blaming the knee for his poor form, but either way, not at his best. Well, he is now playing a distinctly below par opponent. I think the desire has gone from Vadasco's game. I think the knee is bothering him, movement severely compromised, and he is a breakdown in the final set. This one is to play Albert Ramos in the quarterfinal. There's a golden opportunity here. Tempo. Javier Marti can just find one more game. Fancy his chances against Ramos, someone he's played a lot on the challenger circuit in the last six months or so. Ramos playing pretty much exclusively on clay, so when there aren't any World Tournaments on clay does go back to the challenger circuit. <laughs> Fernando Vadasco then, after two hours and 17 minutes, serving to stay in the match. That's double number five, nearly overtaking his ace count. The crowd can whistle all they like. 
Poor old Badesco. I think he wants to be on the plane home. before the end at least that one bounced in the playing area even if it was way behind the baseline the last one went straight up into the crowd without bouncing that's just the sort of day Vadasco has had in Sao Paulo match point for Javier Martin for what would be far and away the biggest victory of his fledging career. So what you like about the youngster, he still had to get the ball over the net. And unfortunately, Fernando Vadasco has done the rest. match point is saved. Can Vadasco postpone the seemingly inevitable any longer? point and again Marty just can't seem to find the lines I'm not sure why he wants to look at this one yep clearly wide says the umpire been an experience on match point. Probably should have kept his concentration. He's got a very important point to play now. Well done for that though. Three match points saved. If he can find a way to hold serve, who knows? There's every chance Marcy could tighten up. Serving out for what would be far and away the biggest victory of his career. As we've already said, it's worth reiterating just how important this is for the youngster. carrying an injury I don't think he wants this one to go on much longer it's still match point Marty this one because he's not playing the pressure points well really used some help from his opponent all of a sudden Tedesco playing more consistent tennis
serve winner from Vadasco. What a time to find that shot. Gets the game point. Let's find out. <laughs> that net just doesn't seem to like seven. Fernando. Not a single net cord in two hours and 25 minutes has gone his way. As a player, there are some courts you just want to wrap up and take round the world with you. This certainly not one of those for Vadasco. <laughs> this is why Marty really needed to take one of the match Thank points on Vadasco's serve. Because all of a sudden, serving out for the match comes a very tricky proposition. Net. Primero servicio. into this one would Vadasco even be fit for the quarterfinals tomorrow never mind that 15.30 he's got half a chance here of trying to grab this break of serve back ah! oh umpire's down wide Ten de Espera por favor, espera. 30 okay. all then. Coming. 
right back into it. Inexperience, immaturity. Just Martínez, poor play from Martínez, Javier Martínez, Martínez, Martínez. Not the time, not the place, and certainly not the execution <laughs> for a drop shot. Fidasco has broken back. We are back on serve in the third set. Well, Marty served out for the second set and got broken, so there was previous. 20 years old, but just doesn't have the match play experience to know when to go for those sort of shots. Back on serve. What is going to happen in this final set? Sentarse rápidamente, por favor. Well, Vadasco was anything but convincing in his previous service game. What can he manage now? Still behind in this third set, serving to level things up at five games all. Next. Servicio. Good start for Vadasco, fifteen loves. Again, it's what we always say about the lower ranked players. They can have very powerful weapons, but it's the consistency they lack. And unless he can sort that out, he's going to struggle to break into the world's top 100. Too good from Vadasco. Great anticipation, really needing to play well there. Knew exactly what Marty was going to try and do. Five games all. 
two and a half hours on court. Just two is going to book their place in the quarterfinals. Will either of these two have anything left to give in that quarterfinal? Marty has already had four match points, remember. I wonder if those are playing on his mind at the moment. Problems for Marty. Chances. Vadesco has a 6-5 lead. He will serve for the match after this change of end. Quickly things can change in tennis. Marty has served for the match. He's already had four match points. At 5-3. Couldn't convert them. Experience costing the youngster is Vadesco about to book that quarter final spot against Albert Ramos. Here we go then will experience win out the day as we always su supposed it might Fernando Vadasco is serving for the match
great point. That's a real summer. Summoning some lost gas energy here. And he does force the error from his opponent. Thirty love. Thirty seven. Combining to win through the number three seed knocks out Javier Marti in two hours 41 minutes. Six, four, six, seven, seven, five. Well, we probably didn't expect quite that stern an encounter. I think it's safe to say Badasco is now match ready. Credit to Martin for sticking around. The 20 year old certainly has a future. Whether or not he can make it to the top of the game remains to be seen. Next up on court, Leonardo Maya of Argentina takes on Jeremy Chardy of France. Don't go anywhere. Representante oficial dos Correios, patrocinador oficial do tênis do Brasil, escolheu uma criança aqui na Paracolha Central para ganhar o autógrafo do vencedor de Fernando Velasco. O garoto é Lucas Pizotti, de Itatiba, São Paulo.